Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel XNL Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about the interplay between innate immune cells and gut microbiota. So from this discussion, you will get the answer of this question that why does not the immune system attack the gut bacteria? So let's begin. So in our large intestine, there are trillion of gut microbiota and uh, there are hundred species of this gut microbiota and this gut bacteria it has uh, some different kind of roles in different biological functions mainly the digestive system so in the large intestine there are there are a lot of gut microbiota as well as enteric pathogens so our immune system is properly respond against enteric pathogens and it uh, it uh, destroy that enteric pathogens other hand it does not respond against the symbiotic gut microbiota so there is balance in between this kind of interplay so there is very much uh, pro very much proper mechanism in between uh, gut microbiota and immune system so that is a very very crucial and very important to know that how this kind of uh, this immune system it does not respond against this symbiotic gut microbiota so as you know that the antigen presenting cells it has the the tlr or toll like receptor and this toll like receptor it recognize and bind the pamp or pathogen associated molecular pattern and this kind of TLR, there are different kind of the TLR and different kind of the TLR, it uh, bind and recognize uh, different kind of antigens. So as you see in this figure that uh, this TLR, there are different kind of the TLR and um, this TLR, it, it properly recognize this, this pathogen and bind with these pathogens with the TLR and then it activate these dendritic cells and it also then activate the T cells as well as the B cells to, pro to produce the antibody whereas the macrophages macrophages like it it uh, respond against these pathogenic bacteria and it also uh, also produce and also activate the other cells but this macrophages it does not respond against the gut microbiota so this is the gut microbiota gut bacteria but it does not respond against this gut bacteria so there are some some molecular mechanism and molecular crosstalk in between uh, this kind of immune cells and um, the gut microbiota so let's have a look at that but before that we need to know that little uh, anatomy and also the exactly where this uh, gut microbiota located so here uh, is the large intestine this is the this is the uh, and here this is the di digestive tract and in this digestive tract in the large intestine there is the trillion of microbiota so and here this is the mesentery and here in the mesentery there is the there is a lymph node and these lymph nodes are known as the mesentric lymph node so this also plays important role uh, uh, to to protect uh, this gut microbiota so these mesentric nodes contain a lot of immune cells so as you see in this figure that uh, this is the intestinal lumen and in this intestinal lumen there is the there is a bacteria this uh, this gut microbiota and uh, here is the epithelium cells and inside this epithelium cells there is the GLT or gut associated lymphoid tissue and this gut associated lymphoid tissue it has very crucial role uh, crucial protective roles on gut microbiota and this GLT include the the cryptic patch and peers patches mesenteric lymph node and also the appendix so 
so here is the schematic diagram that's showing that the pierce patches so this is the in the large intestine and uh, this is the intestinal lumen so pierce patches are the the clusters of the sub epithelial lymphoid follicles found in the large intestine so this is also the limp, the in, it contain also the immune cells that travels from the uh, from the intestinal lumen and this is a mesenteric uh, lymph node that contain the immune cells so let's have a look that what is the molecular crosstalk in between gut microbiota and immune system so first so this is the symbiotic gut microbiota this uh, green color and this is the colony formation and as well as this is the enteric pathogens pathogenic mic uh, microorganism that uh, causing diseases in our body in our so what happened and this is the uh, intestinal epithelial cells so they are also there are there are a lot of tlr or toll like receptor of uh, of antigen presenting cells that respond against different kind of the um, bacterial antigens so first what happened the cx3 cr1 positive dendritic cells it uh, respond against this uh, gut microbiota so the tlr receptor of this uh, dendritic cells it bind with the um, with the symbiotic uh, bacteria in at the steady state but while in in other case like cd103 positive dendritic cells it it migrates to the pierce patches or mesenteric lymph node where it uh, it present the antigens to the naive t cells and the naive t cells get activated and then upon activation by the gut bacteria these dendritic cells it secrete il12 il15 and interferon to the uh, to the CNK or conventional natural killer cells. So these conventional natural killer cells, these are different uh, compared to the normal natural killer cells. And these uh, conventional natural killer cells, these are these maintain the immune balance between allogenic reactivity and self tolerance. And then the the SCFA or the short chain fatty acid that is the byproduct or derivatives of this gut microbiota that produce that produces this SCFA and then this SCFA it upregulates it upregulates the H3K4 ME3 in the dendritic cells dendritic cells nucleus and then it it promotes interleukin 6 interleukin 12 18 tnf and ifn so and which exert so this kind of interleukin this exert the proper antimicrobial and antiviral action against pathogen but not against the gut microbiota and then the intestinal epithelial cell or IC it uh, in response to the gut bacteria it produces IL-25, IL-33 and TSLP and this TSLP is the thymic stromal lymphopoietin and it activate then IL C2 and then IL C2 is the it has a crucial role of protective response on gut microbiota and also this IL C2 is uh, these are capable to distinguish non-self from self via different kind of mechanism by activating receptor or inhibiting receptors and then the intestine then this uh, major histocompatibility complex it expressing ilc3 is capable of presenting 
gut bacterial antigens to CD4 positive T helper cell and limiting their cell reactivity. And also the the IL C3 it also secretes interleukin 22 and interleukin 33 to join defense against uh, the pathogens by driving some antimicrobial peptide REG3 beta and REG3 gamma. The TLR2 or toll-like receptor 2 these are very much important for to maintain the integrity of the IEC or intestinal epithelial cells and the deficiency of the TL, TLR2 it may increase the susceptibility of the intestinal uh, inflammation and in this case the invasive pathogens into lamina propria layer so the phagocytes that exert host defense function via via phagocytosis and cytokine production such as IL-6 and IL-23 so the invasive uh, that uh, enteric pathogens that destroyed by the phagocytosis process by inducing the IL-6 and IL-23 but also the translocation of also some gut microbiota it also it occurs into the uh, liver and translocation of this gut bacteria from gut to liver it enhances the T helper cell 17 response and leading to manifestation of the autoimmune disease so it may occur the autoimmune disease so I'll uh, I will talk about some uh, my next video about this autoimmune disease and um, the gut microbiota so this is all about this um, gut the interplane between gut microbiota and the immune system so this is how uh, the, our immune uh, immune system it does not respond again against gut microbiota other hand it very properly respond against the enteric pathogens so this is the balance condition in between uh, symbiotic gut microbiota and immune systems so this is the vast mechanism that uh, that plays an important role so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and please subscribe my channel thanks